Pessoal, estamos aqui na Air Bliss. A Air Bliss desenvolveu um respirador. Isso aqui na mão agora, todo mundo já acha que é uma máscara de Covid, né? Mas não. Isso aqui é um respirador usado dentro de ambientes confinados. Mineração, por exemplo. Né? E eu estou aqui com o José. O José vai, vai falar um pouquinho, vai trazer um pouquinho né, do que é isso aqui. Do que, que eles têm de tecnologia embarcada. Hi, Jose, can you explain us a little bit what you have embedded inside this respirator? Yes, yeah, so in this new technology of respirator, we have embedded the technology to be able to detect the fatigue of the user okay. for the mining industry, where the, the cost of an accident is very expensive. So we have a, a dual technology inside. One is the analysis of the breathing of the, the user, mm -hmm. because the, the, the pattern of the breathing is actually a very good sign of the fatigue of the user. There's a lot of uh, medical publications around that. Mm -hmm. But we also analyze the movement of the head. And so 50 times per second, we analyze the movement of the, of the user to really see and, and detect the first signs of fatigue. And then we combine these two technologies, the breathing and the, the movement technology, uh, to determine the level of fatigue for the user. Okay, and this guy is a little lightweight one, huh? It is actually, uh, the, it, it is a respirator that actually complies to the same norm as the, the, the big respirator with the uh -huh. hoses. And, uh, but we decided actually to go with a very strong seal on the face to be lightweight. It's actually less than 200 grams. And uh, to, so that the, the users can actually focus on, on having something comfortable with a lot of hair inside, uh -huh. but not a, a big weight and a big, uh, a big Perfect. problem. Can we present uh, how does it work and how, because it is connected, correct? It Now is. It, it is Bluetooth and then it will be Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, right? Yes, it will be, uh, it ex actually right now Bluetooth. It will be Bluetooth and Wi-Fi because the mining industry is actually putting oh, Wi-Fi wi on all the mines. The yeah. they, they, they do it uh, on okay. all the mining. And uh, so uh, today, uh, uh, do you want a demo? Yes, yeah. yes. So, Let's take a look on that. So what you see on the screen here is the, the real-time real time, right? the real movement of the head of the user. And uh, so 50 times per second, as I said, I mean, we monitor the position. Mm -hmm. And when we start detecting uh, the, the nodding of the user, then this starts uh, turning uh, up, light, uh, light blue, indicating that there is a, a first sign of fatigue with a light movement. Okay. If, if the user starts nodding a bit more deeper, then it, dar it becomes uh, dark, dark blue. blue. So that uh, then in this case, it is a, a bigger sign of fatigue. And we analyze this uh, during a, a, time, uh, a time window Good. and uh, based also on the respiration, then we can uh, combine these two technology to uh, create a level of fatigue that we send uh, to a mobile app uh -huh. to warn the user, but also to the monitoring station, to the supervisor, if, uh, if uh, the, the user or the driver needs to stop and take a break. Perfect. And if the, the worker has an injury inside the mine and yeah. you, you could detect it also? Yes, in this technology, as we are monitoring uh, the, the movements of the head 50 okay. times per second, we also embedded the, the fall detection. And right. this fall detection for us is a combination of three movements, an acceleration, an impact, and then a position, particular position on the ground uh, to discriminate what is a jump and what is a fall, really. Perfect. So I can demo that to yeah. you. I mean, uh, so you have the acceleration, the contact, and then. So it falls. It falls. And it just jump and, and, and move and the it head. Is on the ground and and then and then return co comes back. So the fall was detected because after the jump, then he was on a particular movement down. If it was just a jump, then it would be just. But there is no detection. Perfect. You see. So we are registered in Netherlands, so that's where the, the company is uh, based in Eindhoven. Okay. And uh, that's where we have the, the lab. Okay, good. One, one last thing that I can say on, on, uh, on this new technology is, um, is actually we have also equipped, because of the mining, uh, uh, a filter that is capturing the NO2 and SO2, which are the combustion engine uh -huh. inside, the, inside the filter in front okay. of it here. And, uh, but to go beyond that, Uh, and filtering just uh, the, we also created actually, uh, we, in, uh, we have put inside the sensor, NO2 sensor, which monitors the, the, the gas inside the mouth. 
So, and that's an innovation somehow because today nobody tells you uh, what you're bre really breathing. Uh -huh. And they tell you what is the performance of the, the, the material, uh -huh. but they don't tell you if uh, it's sealing properly, if the mask is actually uh, sealed, the, okay. the filter clogged or and not. And you can pick up this data and send this to the... To and the exactly, so if, uh, if uh, there is any sign of NO2 inside, uh -huh. then we tell the user, be careful, you are, there's something wrong, you need to... Uh, to replace to or replace, to, to change, try to, to the check software. the mask. Okay, man, thank you very much. Muito obrigado. De nada. Muito obrigado. Bom, pessoal, mais uma coisa que a gente vê aqui que é totalmente factível a ser aplicada imediatamente, né? Aqui a gente já fala, eles, na verdade, começaram com uma máscara que não tinha, né, esse tipo de detecção e aí foi solicitado a ser colocado isso aí. Ou seja, mais uma das coisas legais que a gente viu aqui, CES 2022.